if I told you If I told you just half of everything I've always wanted to Welcome back, Camille. Life has just been so crazy lately. I mean, when is it not, honestly? But just with the move and traveling, it's just been a lot. And I feel like it's been a really long time since I've just sat down and chatted with y'all. So let me just catch you up on what's been going on in my life. A few weeks ago, me and the girls took a trip to Texas to see their grandparents. I've been meaning to make that trip for a long time now, but traveling with the girls, it is a lot. And it's not just the kids themselves that make it hard, it's all the stuff that they need that needs to be lugged into the airport and out of the airport and it's just very exhausting. My social anxiety is getting a lot better than it has been in the past, but still, like, airports are just kind of a scary place. They're very crowded, there's a lot of people, everyone just kind of seems grumpy. I'm not necessarily scared of flying like the actual plane like scared of it crashing or anything but i am kind of scared of like being in like a crowded plane where i can't escape surrounded by people and especially when i'm with the girls no one likes being in an enclosed space with screaming children so the fear of potentially being on like a two-hour flight and that just being the whole two hours really prevented me from traveling anywhere for almost a year. I didn't realize until I went on this trip how badly I needed it just to get out and have a change of scenery. It's something that me and Landon used to do quite a lot. When it was just me and him and Coco, we would travel pretty often and I've just really missed it. And I realized that that's one of several things that since becoming a single parent, I've just been too scared to do on my own. And I want to clarify what I mean by single parent and what it kind of means to me. When I say single, I don't refer to my relationship status. As you guys know, I have a boyfriend, I'm in a relationship, but I mean single as in singular. The girls still only have one parent in their lives. I think someone grows out of being a single parent once there's another person filling that role with them. Someone who takes on that responsibility of parent. And while Cameron is an amazing help and he's so great with the kids and loves to play with them and help me out whenever I ask, he's still just simply not their parent. And there's a lot of responsibilities that I don't put onto him because of the fact that I wouldn't expect him at this point in our relationship to take on that role. Dating as a single parent was kind of tricky to figure out in the beginning. I was very, very scared of like asking too much of him because I know me and my life and my situation is just a lot to take on in and of itself. The last thing I'd ever want is for him to feel pressure to take on a responsibility that just isn't his. So I was very much so like, I'm gonna do this all on my own, like don't help me with the kids at all. I'm gonna buckle and unbuckle both of their seatbelts. Like, don't do a thing. It's not your job to do this. Don't help me. And that kind of approach just simply like <laughs> didn't work. It just made him feel bad like watching me do it all like he wanted to help me so i started to let him you know help with the things that he offered to help with and eventually got comfortable enough to ask like oh hey can you grab delilah's bottle it's in the other room and that's kind of the same way it goes when one of my siblings is over hanging out or my parents he's just another person in their lives that when they're around they help out you know it takes a village but he's never like watched them on his own or changed any diapers or done any of the gross stuff. So I still consider myself a single parent, being that I am solely responsible for them. In some ways, it has been a little easier since Cameron kind of joined the picture, but it's still just really hard. In no way is it the same as 
when they had two parents, when there was an equal there, someone who's equally sharing that responsibility. And while I don't expect that of Cameron, there's times that I kind of miss being able to share parenthood with someone. And it's times like that when you're on a plane with two babies and you're trying to juggle everything and make sure they're both like calm and not kicking the seat in front of them and not screaming that you just wish you had that other person that felt that weight just as strong. You know, of course, London was with us and she came to help, but she just simply doesn't know how to calm Colette down, how to talk to her in the right way to get her to listen. She did what she could, of course, and I'm so thankful for that. So thankful for all of the help that we get. But like I said, it's just hard, even with the help. All in all, they did do pretty well on the plane though, despite how anxiety inducing it was for me. I feel like the people sitting in front of us were probably like, great, got some kids behind us. But to all of our surprise, it was not too bad. And then we got there and landed and made our way to Kelly's house, Landon's mom. And we were all so happy to see them again. As you know, my relationship with my in-laws hasn't always been great. Long story short, when I was 16, kind of went off the rails, threw a party at their house. It got out of control. I have a story time about it if you want more details. But I essentially trashed their house and then got pregnant by Landon a few months later. So we all started on this journey of them becoming grandparents on a pretty bad note. It was hard at the time to imagine a future where we were all just one big happy family. But over time, I proved myself to them. And then me and Lena got married and they were so happy to be at our wedding. The speech that Kelly gave almost made me cry. And soon after that, we got pregnant with Delilah. You are pregnant again? Again. <laughs> Cameron! <laughs> what are y'all gonna do with all these babies? I, know. <gasps> I know that they wish we would've waited longer. You know, they were just looking out for us. I love that you're having a baby, but y'all scare me with all these babies. You're so young. Are you gonna be a sister? Y'all are crazy. But I remember telling her that I was pregnant and I was saying something along the lines of like, two's gonna be like easier than one anyways. Like they're gonna be able to like have each other to play with harder in a lot of ways, but easier in some ways. And I just remember her giving me this look like, yeah, sure two kids will be easier. And so during this trip, while we were hanging out, she was watching them just play with each other. And she's like, you know what? Having two kids is easier than having one because they just play with each other. And I'm like, told ya. <laughs> the girls love hanging out with them. It makes me really sad that we don't live closer and we only get to see them so often. My relationship with them and the girls' relationship with them is something that is always gonna be really, really special and important to me. Obviously, there's so many people in my life that loved Landon very much and that grieve him, and to a certain extent, understand how hard it is to have lost him. But you know, those are his parents and they obviously loved him so, so much. And they're some of the few people that I feel like I can really talk to about Landon and feel so understood. Everyone else can sympathize, but they relate to just missing him. And while it was sad, it was really nice to just talk to Kelly about him and hear how she's doing in her grief and share how I'm doing in my grief and just bond over the love that we had for him. I just love them so much and we were overjoyed to see them again. They're just such great grandparents as well. We also got to see Addie and Trent on the trip because they were in Texas as well. We went to the zoo. The girls were so happy to see their aunt. We spent the day with them looking at the animals. We also caught up with Maddie and Robbie and it was just one big baby party. I hadn't really realized that Maddie has never met Delilah. It's been a long time since I've seen her. Everly and Colette were so cute together. They always are. They're just such a duo. But watching them have like an actual conversation now was just hilarious. I like your dress. You like her dress? Yeah. Give her a hug. I want a pretty dress for you, please, no, you have pretty, you have pretty sweater. Can you give her a hug? Nice. How are you? Your eyes are so pretty. I'm the kid and mom. I can't pet the snake. There's a rainbow fish. That's a big fish. There's a little fish. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. Did you do
I'm gonna sit on it. No, we don't sit on it. <laughs> That was definitely one of my favorite days on our trip. And then that night, London, Robbie, Addie, and I went out for a little girl's night. I don't have a lot of friends where I live really, at least not like friends I've known for a long time, especially girlfriends. So it was so much fun to just have time with them. I feel like most people my age without kids get to do that a lot, get to just go out with their girls. It felt really good to feel my age. The next day was Thanksgiving and we went to Landon's uncle's house and there we got to see a ton of Landon's family, Landon's brother who the girls haven't seen in forever and his grandmother and cousin and aunt and uncle and it was just such a fun day just being around family. The more I hang out with Landon's brother the more I realize how similar they are and it was so special to see him playing with the girls. Landon loved his brother very much and I just know he was looking down watching that happen. It was very touching. And of course, Kelly made me cry at dinner when she was saying what she was thankful for. We all definitely missed his presence there. It was kind of hard being around all his family and not him. The next day we went to Landon's dad's house. They have three Pekingese dogs, all related to Ozzy and Coco and Dee Dee were like freaking out. They were like, there's so many Aussies. And in that moment, I really missed Ozzy. I kind of got my Ozzy fix though, by seeing them. We went out to lunch with his dad and stepmom and then we visited the cemetery. The girls and I hadn't gotten a chance to visit Landon's gravestone yet because it's in Texas. I knew it was something that I wanted to do while I was there, but I knew it was going to be really hard. It was very surreal seeing it. I tried to explain to the girls what we were doing there. Obviously, Delilah is too young to understand, but I think Colette got the idea. I told her that she could talk to him if she wanted to, and she did. She told him that she missed him. I told him that I missed him. And then she looked at me and she said, I can talk to daddy, but daddy can't talk back. And that just sent me, that was heartbreaking. I started crying even more and she just hugged me and she asked me why I was sad and I told her, I miss daddy. And she just looks at me and goes, me too. And she holds my face with her little hands. She was just so loving and caring and so considerate of everyone else's emotions and it's so beautiful to see just the empathy that she has for others. It reminds me so much of Landon and I definitely felt his presence while we were there. It's such a beautiful spot underneath this big old tree and I'm glad that the girls have that spot to go back to to talk to him 
And then we left and we drove to Tyler to visit my grandma. We had some dinner with her and she got to play with the girls. After I put them to bed, we stayed up talking and drinking tea. That's something that we do every time we visit her and that time is just so special to me. Then the next morning, we went through some of my grandpa's things. He passed away earlier this year. It was really hard seeing her, but not seeing him. They have a chair in their living room that was his chair and he would always sit in it and watch baseball. And just seeing that chair empty just broke my heart. But my grandma is so incredibly strong. She's always been such an inspiration and I was so happy to see her doing well and I'm just so proud of her. She gave me one of my grandpa's shirts that he used to wear all the time and she showed me a picture of him wearing it so that was really special to me. And then we caught up with my aunts and uncles and cousins. I have a pretty big family on that side of the family and there was a lot of little girls. So Colette and Delilah had a blast playing with their cousins. And then we drove back to Dallas and got ready to head to the airport. The plane ride home wasn't too bad. Dee Dee cried for like five minutes on the way down. Literally the second that the captain was like, all right, we're headed down, put on your seatbelts. Delilah was like, I'm ready to be on the ground. She wasn't trying to like walk around the whole time, but all of a sudden she needed to be like put down. And I'm just like, girl, <laughs> Not right now. But other than that, everything was fine and dandy. Overall, it was a very fun trip, but also quite emotional. Being around Landon's family and being in his old room and visiting his grave, it brought up a lot of feelings. It felt very healing and necessary though. I'm at a point in my grief with Landon and my grandfather where it brings more than just sadness. Along with the sad feeling of just missing them, I also reflect on the good memories and I appreciate the time that I had with them. I'm just so glad I got to know both of them in the time that I did. And while I miss them so much, I'm so happy to have had what I had. Thanks for sticking around and for hearing me just talk. I love connecting with you guys in this way. It really just feels like I'm talking to an old friend or something. I'm so happy to have such an amazing family to be here for me. You guys have just been through it all since the very beginning when I got pregnant with Colette to getting to this point that I'm at now. It's just been such a journey and I just hope you guys know how much it means to me. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video, Camelie.